guys, Nerdy Noob here, and welcome back to another video. Okay, you guys are gonna kill me. I got so much, like, hate for the last mystery box that I got, and I totally get why, but here's the thing, guys. I love Pokemon cards, and I love mystery boxes. Uh, it's like the two things. Two things right now that are my weakness. Um, in this video, we're gonna be unboxing this box. This is a mystery power box. They sell these at Walmart. I have never been able to find this in the wild at Walmart, so I did buy this on... I think I bought this on Facebook Marketplace. So most likely, I'm just gonna do a disclaimer, I understand that when you buy these from third party markets or from people, they probably weigh them. I'm not gonna get anything good, I get that. I know I'm probably not gonna get a graded card, I understand. There is still a chance that I could get a vintage pack not necessarily a fossil pack, but some kind of vintage pack. And I don't personally believe that those can be weighed. Like, maybe they could be, maybe they can't. But I'm going to get five booster packs in here, so I feel like that would be the thing that they wouldn't be able to necessarily tell based off weight. So this box is going to contain five booster packs, one EX or GX card, one coin, one online code card, and one collectible pin. Um, again, you have a 1 in 10 chance uh, that you're going to get a vintage pack and you have a 1 in 25 chance that your, I'm assuming your GX slash EX card will have a, a graded card instead. I don't believe we had that. This box doesn't seem heavy enough for that, but we're gonna go ahead and open this. I think when you can find this at Walmart, it cost about 25 or $30. I don't wanna tell you guys how much I paid. I did not pay as much as I paid for the, Wal the Walgreens one, um, but it was close. I mean, this I think this probably cost me about $50, which means that I am paying about $10 for every booster pack in here with the chance of getting some kind of vintage pack that's going to be worth more. Um, to me, that's worth it. I'm willing to take that risk because I love mystery boxes and I love the thrill of potentially getting something like way better than what you think, you know? Like, I don't know, it's like a treasure hunt. Why is this plastic plus so hard to get off? Okay, there we go. So like I said, there's another variant. This one I think is a little bit older, I'll be honest. I bought two, I got this one, I think on eBay. This one is just vintage packs though. I'll open that one in a different video. So again, I do think that these can be weighed because obviously a graded card is gonna weigh way more than just five booster packs, but who knows? There is a little bit of heft to it, but there's five booster packs in here, so I feel like that's what the weight is. All right, so don't yell at me in the comments. I know full well what I was getting myself into and I went for it anyways. Here we go. Should we pull all the packs? Should we pull it one at a time? We'll pull it one at a time just to look at it. Oh wait, wait we should get all the other stuff. Here's a pin. Is that Marshadow? That's a cool pin. And then, so I can tell you right now as a fact, I definitely didn't get a graded card. Where's my coin? There it is. There's our little coin. Cute. And then I don't know where the card is. The the GXEX card. Oh, here it is. Oh no, this is the code card. This is from Detective Pikachu. Oh, does that mean you're gonna get Detective Pikachu? <laughs> Thanks. Here's our card. Okay, we got a Camerupt EX card. All right, we'll go ahead and sleeve that up. Put that right here just in case. What if that's our only pool for the day? Here we go. First pack is. We got Shining Legends! I'll take that. I will take that. When you try to buy on the on the streamer that I watch, he charges like $20 for Shining Legends. So there you go. I'll take that for pack number one. That's a cool pack. Pack number two, Unified Minds. Okay, not worth $10, but still a good pack to pull. What's pack number three? Evolutions! I'll take that. These packs are going for 10. Again, the, the Poke Streamer, he's selling them for like, I don't know, $20. Okay, uh, oh wait, we have two more packs. We got Unbroken Bonds. This is a great box. I am very pleased with it. What's our last pack? Is it gonna be something janky like Sun and Moon? Cosmic Eclipse! Okay, okay, here's the thing. You guys can be mad at me, and some of these packs are not worth $10, but... Um, like this pack is definitely worth 10 to $20. And this pack is probably worth around $20. Shining Legends is not easy to get right now. Okay, 
I am I am pleased with this room. We didn't get a vintage pack. I'm okay with that. I'm gonna consider Shiny Lenses a little bit vintage because that was from a couple years ago. Um, wow, I thought we were gonna get a bunch of like sun and moon or something. And this is amazing, like base set, this is amazing. I am pleased. Okay, let's go ahead and open up these packs, see if we got anything good. That's the second part of this. Can we get any good pulls? Can we get, I forgot what's in the Shining Legends. Oh, the, the Test Tube Mewtwo. That's probably, we're not gonna get that. Or Charizard Hollow, who knows? Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna do Shining Legends last because I haven't opened Shining Legends in forever. Um, I'm gonna say this is the order from not as cool to coolest, okay? So we're gonna start off with Unified Minds. And for Unified Minds to be the not as cool pack in this, that says a lot right there, I think. All right, but we did get a green coat card, so. They probably did win the pack. What company makes this? Let's see really quick. Because um, I haven't really liked any, any mystery boxes from the Fairfield company, but this is made by MJ Holding. So, um, I have heard though that there is a chance that they've like repacked cards because it technically says on the box that they can do that. Not that they can repack, it just says that they could have been purchased from their manufacturer, purchased from the holding, fill the individual manufacturers. Here, packs are randomly inserted. Packs shown. Oh, wait, I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, okay, let's go ahead and check this out. All right. We did get a green code card, so a Noibat Reverse Hollow. And actually, I should start separating my cards because I haven't been, and it is a lot of time. And a Steelix Regular Rare. So nothing great from that pack. Let's go ahead and try our Cosmic Eclipse. Maybe we can get that Hyper Rare Charizard. And is it Braxen or Braxen? I still don't understand. Oh, do they all have white code cards? I don't remember. Okay, four cards, let's check it out. Oh, we got something, not a hyper rare though. Not a secret rare, whatever they're called because it's, I can tell it's not that. Okay, we got a not to uh, reverse hollow. Let's move these over. And a Venusaur and Snivy GX tag team card. Very nice, okay. Look, see, we got a pool. Nice, that's exciting. Whoa. Very cool. All right, now let's check out Unbroken Bonds. I haven't un, I haven't um, opened a lot of Unbroken Bonds. Actually, that's not true. I take that back. I got a booster box, huh? Ah, green. I don't think that this set has any secret rares, so I don't think we're gonna get anything good. Stealthy Hood, Reverse Hollow, and a Butterfree Regular Rare. Okay, now on to the heavy hitters. We're going for evolutions, and everyone knows for evolutions, we're looking for that Zard. I don't think we're gonna be able to pull it from this. I feel like the chance of getting a Zard from a Raichu pack, slim, slim to none. Oh, there's your code card. Should we look at the color? No, let's keep it a secret. So that's three cards for this one. All right, should we do this one slower? Charizard Spirit Link, is it a sign? A Charmeleon's a good card. There's also secret rare, or secret, there's secret, are they considered secret rares? I guess so, in this set. Okay, our reverse hollows are, and our rare card is, uh, we got a regular rare Raticate. So nothing overly fancy. Actually, I've been trying to potentially collect this whole Evos collection, so I'll set those aside. Okay, last pack, can we get some last pack magic? Even if we don't get anything from this pack, I'm still really excited and happy with the pack selection from this box. I'll be honest. This is very tight. Okay, here we go. There is our code card. I might have flipped those cards upside down, did I? No. All right, last pack magic, let's see it. Man, I have not opened this set in such a long, long time. Scraggy. Tor Cat, Plusel, Plusel, Totodile, Torquil, Torquil. <laughs> oh, we got a, Veriz a Verizon Hollow Rare. Oh, that's it. Sorry. Reverse Hollow. Okay. 
So nothing good. That confused me a little bit. I got a little bit confused. I mean, you got a, a hollow rare, which is good. Better than just a regular rare, right? I think. Okay. So let's go ahead and set these cards to the side. All right. How did we do? Not the best, but we got five good packs. And out of those packs, we got, um, I would say this is our best hit, the Venusaur and Snivy GX Tag Team. We got a... Um, Verizon Hollow Rare, and then of course the box came with a Camerupt EX card. I don't know what set this is from, but there you go. Okay, so pulls aren't the greatest, but that's just Pokemon cards, right? Sometimes you get good pulls, sometimes you don't. But all in all, I am very happy with this box. I will be honest, yes, if you're going to get this with the hope of getting a graded card, don't buy in the third party market because they clearly can weigh that. But if you're just trying to get it to potentially get a vintage pack, then, you know, I think it's a good option. I have seen videos of people getting vintage packs out of those, so it's possible. But I think that it's, and you're not going to necessarily get, like, fossil. You're going to get, like, something that was a little bit more recent, but still considered vintage. All right, guys, that is all I have for you in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below, has anyone purchased this box? And if so, what did you get? Has anyone um, received any vintage packs from any of these um, mystery boxes that you get from Walmart? I will say just based off of like the opening, I prefer the Walmart mystery boxes to the Walgreens mystery box. I thought the Walgreens one, I don't know, I just thought that was a little bit bland just because you can get like like current packs. Um, I like this one specifically because I think it's not as current. Now I will be honest, this one that I'll do a different video for, I think this one's a little bit newer so we probably will get things like Sword and Shield base, but they do show different pictures of different vintage packs on here that you can get. So I can't wait to open that one. There is no chance of getting a graded card in that one. So I don't know. I'm sure people can still weigh that. I just don't know exactly because if you get a vintage pack, it's just one of your five packs. So I don't know exactly. I'm sure that actually might weigh a teeny bit more because the vintage packs usually have 11 cards. Although I don't think the vintage packs had code cards. So I don't know, guys. Who knows? Who knows? Anyways, uh, let me know all of your thoughts down below. Don't forget, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions are blocked or such are private, you will make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is not coming up shortly because I haven't done it in a while, but hopefully soon I will do it. Um, but yeah, before we go, we must do the video shout out. My phone couldn't recognize my face because I was holding my hand like this and I was like, video shout out. Hmm. Okay, today's video shout out is gonna go to... I'm gonna give today's video shout out to Funko Boys. Funko Boys, you're getting the video shout out. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, and supporting my channel. I appreciate all your support. They commented about how people couldn't love Cube. Cube is so cute. I can't show you him right now. He's so cute. He sleeps so... He's got his hand... Okay, wait, I'm gonna get my second camera back. Look how cute he is, guys. Look how cute. Can you guys see that? He's a cutie. He's covering up his face because the, the lights are too bright. Too bright for him, I think. And his foot's hanging off. Ugh. You guys have to admit, he's cute. But there are some people who don't like him. So, anyways, Funko Boys, thank you so much for all of your support. Thank you so much for loving Cube. He loves you right back. Right back at ya. Um, I appreciate everything, and I want to give you the video shout-out. So, shout-out to you, Funko Boys. Shout-out to you. All right, guys, I hope you have an amazing day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.